Right, so today, viewers, we are at on Pasco Avenue in Mana on the Capiti Line, and this is Pasco Avenue level crossing. Now, once again, this is one that I have filmed before, but I wasn't 100% happy with my last take. It was sort of rushed and didn't really go get to really describe the crossing all that well, so we're doing a quick little retake here. So this level crossing is a fairly simple one. It's on a fairly minor road, although mind you, it does get very busy here at the weekends with the sports grounds here. But the rest of the week, this is fairly quiet. So we have here two sets of Griswold barriers, the original Griswold barriers. And we also have just two sets of Griswold lights that have been retrofitted with LED. So just one set of lights for each direction. And we also have two Western Cullen Hayes E-Bells. Now this level crossing has had Western Cullen Hayes E-Bells for years. But a few years ago, the old Western Cullen Hayes E-Bells were replaced with these new Western Cullen Hayes E-Bells a couple of years back. And so, and as you can see, they're still fairly sort of shiny and clean. They're not all rusty, steel or corroded. And we have, and, that, and now this level crossing has a slower ring on the E-Bells. Uh, so Kiwi Rail are gradually slowing down the pace of the ring um, on the Western Cullen Hayes E-Bells, which is kind of disappointing, because I actually uh, prefer them when they, uh, uh, when they ring slightly faster. But no, Kiwi Rail have decided that they want them to ring slowly, and this is one of the crossings where they in fact do that. And that's all there is to describe to describe uh, at this crossing because it's a fairly basic crossing. There's not a lot to see here. And so now all we can do is wait for the train. Just missed the start to that. Here we go. That just started as I was hitting the uh, record button. What, uh, what poor timing on my part. Now that was a fairly quick crossing because that was a northbound service. So the train comes racing through here from Parramatta and slows slowing down to stop at Marna station. Whereas when we get the northbound, sorry, when we get the southbound service from the other side, I mean, just a minute, it'll be a bit of a longer crossing because the barriers will go down before the train stops at Marna Station, which means that we'll see the crossing active for a little bit longer. I have to say that the pedestrian access at this crossing is very poor. Poor, very, very poor. I mean, the barrier unit here sort of sticks out to sort of where the pathway should be aligned. It feels like this. It feels like they should have put this barrier unit about a meter that way. And there's, there's no sort of separate pedestrian sort of footpath so you kind of have to walk onto the road to go over the crossing bit of a letdown here but i don't know this crossing is probably from the 50s or the 60s or whatever it's quite an old crossing so i dare say that the landscape has changed quite a lot since they installed this and who knows maybe there weren't so many pedestrians going going through here back in those days i mean who knows actually while we're waiting for the next train because i've got quite a long way i'll just tell you that I came through here earlier and the guys from Kiwi Rail were here doing maintenance, like doing a maintenance checkup on the crossing because that little green thing there, shed there, that's the controls for the crossing. And I, and I went to drive through just as they were doing a test run and there were these two Kiwi Rail engineers in high vis all in, all, you know, all decked out in, in orange high vis who were manually lifting the barriers up with their hands to let the cars through whilst they were testing the signals. So it was, it was an odd feeling really to sort of be driving over a level crossing 
while the lights and bells are ringing. It, it's like, like it's almost like it feels wrong, but there's a guy there from Kiwi Rail and Kiwi Rail um, in a high vis vest lifting the barriers up, saying it's all right, go on, mate. It's a weird feeling, and also awesome at the same time. If I wasn't driving, I'd have got a camera out and filmed it for you. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. Okay, so the train should be making its way down the line from Plymouthton Station any moment now. So within the next minute or so, crossing should activate. Of course, if I've cut this bit out in the editing, then you may not have heard any of what I just said. There we go. So you can see here the train stops at Marna Station before going through the crossing. And this happens at a lot of station at level crossings in Wellington, especially on the Capity line. There are a lot of places on this line where the crossing goes down and then the train stops at a station. It does make crossing times a lot longer. There we go. Right, well, that I think concludes Pasco Avenue level crossing in Marna. Much better than the last video I shot at this level crossing, I must say, much better. Yeah. Actually, while we're here, I just want to point something out a little bit off topic. We see this building here. This was the largest motel in this whole area, sort of through Marna Esplanade. There was another motel just over there. Both of them closed down due to uh, since COVID hit, both of them. And there's another motel down the road that I think has faced a similar fate. If you wanna know what the real impact of COVID-19 has been, in this, certainly in my local area, look no further. I wonder what it must be like though, staying in a motel right next to a level crossing. Kinda makes you understand why they've had a bells off setting. Anyway, that's it for this level crossing. And that is it.